we use a term called as uh, this propositional variable so what is a propositional variable is to every statement we assign instead of writing the statement all the time we assign a symbolic representation by a variable and whenever we use that variable we mean that it is a statement and why is it useful is we try to combine many propositional statements many propositions in order to form a compound statement or a compound proposition so in that case if i have variables it will be very useful for example uh, if you take the proposition my name is rrb let us say i have a proposition my name is ravindra babu raula okay and now if i use the uh, letter p small p in general small letters are used or you can use in either capital letters also it is not an issue you can use anything but this is a variable right now this variable is representing this particular statement now we are going to form a compound statements by using these variables and something called as connectives connectives so what are connectives is <clears throat> these are the things which connect more than one propositional statement together okay for example one part one such thing is negation so if i use negation p if p is my name is rrb then negation p is my name is not right so it is it just use your common sense and put that not wherever it it makes sense it don't put like not my name is rrb okay and one other way of writing it is it is not the case it is not the case that my name is rrb all right you can use any of these two ways to represent this and one other connective is conjunction or in uh, digital we have seen this it is equivalent to and if you have two statements let us say p and q let us assume that p does not represent this statement p is a different statement now uh, so why am i using p and q because it, they have they are the most frequently used uh, variable names that is why i am using it there is no other logic it is not that you should always use it okay so what, when i use um, i got 80% marks let us assume that it is a proposition which means you can assign a true or false value depending on how many marks you got and i got a grade okay so now if you have these two propositions and if i write like this p and q a conjunction conjunction of these two then it means that i got 80% marks and i got a grade that is the meaning of it right so simply put you can write it like this i got 80% marks and a grade i just uh, you know uh, simplified it using the normal english language right so i got 80% marks and a grade now what about these uh, truth values of you know after using the conjunctions i will give you the tables they are just same as uh, how we have seen in this uh, uh, logic digital logic topic okay and this symbol is used to represent disjunction this is conjunction this is disjunction this is negation okay this is the terminology we are getting used to the terminology first now if i write p or q what is the meaning of this one is i got 80% marks and i got a grade if they are p and q and if i write p or q it means that i got 80% marks or sorry or a grade right so what about this uh, negation uh, conjunction and uh, disjunction is let's say p p is having the truth value true and false then negation p will have truth value whenever p is having true it will be false and whenever it is having false it will be true same as how we have seen in logic right digital logic 
So digital logic and this the conjunction these uh, connectives are almost same. Now what is the meaning of it is if my name is R R B is true, then my name is R not R R B will be false. If my name is R R B is false, then my name is not R R B will be true. Got it? And what about this P and Q is if P and Q they have the truth values like this. They can take either true true or true false or false true or false false which means the statements independently they can have any of these truth values then what will be the compound statement or the compound uh, proposition p conjunction q right p and q is when both the statements are true this particular compound statement will take the truth value which means if you have really got 80 marks and if you have really got a grade then this particular value will be true because these two are true otherwise if any of these statements is false or if both of them are false this will take false value got it that is about the uh, conjunction now what about the disjunction is You know all this, just the basics. I don't think that you have any need of writing them down. You must be knowing them all. But just for the sake of, uh, you know, completeness, I'm doing it. Now this shows that if any of the two statements is true, it is going to be true. True, 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 false. Got it? So these are the basic connectives, and we have even uh, other connectives as well. We go step by step, or we can see one more con you know, connective here itself. So strictly speaking, we never use this exclusive or in the, in this uh, propositional logic like we have used in uh, uh, you know digital logic. But since it is given in one of the textbooks, uh, let's just do, you know look at it as well. There is exclusive or means like this. There is really it is not used anywhere in uh, in this uh, propositional logic. Okay, so this says that if any one of the statements is true, then the compound statement P exclusive or Q is true, which means either P or Q. That is the meaning of it. Either P is true or Q is true, then it is going to be true like this. If both are true, it is going to be false. Right, same, exactly same as digital logic. In digital logic, if you substitute in place of true one, and if in case of false zero, you are going to get the same thing. Right. So these are these are the important connectives, and we have few more connectives. We shall see them in the next video. Okay. Hi. If you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I'll give you all the reasons. So, first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year. There are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, 
you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.